Hi folks, welcome to this next video on the MLS project. And I haven't done a video now for a very long time. And this is not because there wouldn't be anything going on in the MLS project. Rather to the contrary, a lot of things have happened. I just didn't have uh, the time to do some videos. But now I want to show you this feature. It's actually not a feature which is going to be merged to main uh, in, 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 in the near future, in days or weeks. It's rather a feature preview, which I want to show you. And the feature is drone can support. There is the possibility to connect the MLS receiver via a CAN bus to the flight controller and uh, the communication protocol, which is being used to communicate between the two things is the drone CAN protocol. As an introduction uh, to what's going to come, let me just very briefly show you again what the normal thing is. So currently the, co the CAN bus is not connected, the MLS receiver is connected the usual way. So here we have power and a CSF wire and here a serial port which is connected to the flight controller's uh, port as needed. Right here we have a receiver. When we move the flight controller, we see the serial data ca coming in. And of course, uh, when we connect uh, to Mission Planner and I move the sticks now on the transmitter, uh, then you can see that uh, the sticks are really moving so that we have here this normal CSF protocol. So what we're going to do next is to replace the uh, CSF communication by the CAN bus communication. That is, we are going to connect the CAN bus so that's here. Then we are going to remove the CSF wire, which is this. So now we have here the CAN bus connected to the flight controller and we have still the CL bus, uh, CL port connected for the uh, muffling telemetry data. Now in Mission Planner, it's not working right now because we have not yet enabled it. So we need to go into the RC options here. We replace uh, as protocol, we replace CSF by drone can. We write this to our flight controller. And then we have to see, we have to um, reboot the flight controller. So we briefly do that. So we can connect it now and now we should see that when I move the sticks um, we indeed have here the drone can RC protocol. Um, in order to convince you further we can go here into the optional settings into the drone can uh, area and then we can uh, press this here and this will now look for all the devices and to show you what it has found so we have here now a mission planner we have the flight controller and we have now here the MLS receiver as an additional drone can no node on port 68 so now that we have uh, our RC data working via the CAN bus we also want to replace the seal port, that is, we also want to do muffling over the CAN bus. So what we do here, we disconnect the seal port here, and then we have to do a setting in the transmitter. We have to go uh, here, here, call the Lua script, the MLS Lua script, and when we connect it now and we go now into the receiver setting, when you will find there is now a new option which is called serial port, where you can choose now between serial, which was the option which you normally would use. And here there is now this new option can, which we are selecting. And when we are saving it, and what this, what this makes 
that now the serial port is used uh, instead, uh, the CAN bus is used now as serial port instead of the UART port. So we don't. Uh, so what we see here now, does it work already? It's already working, right? So the serial data is indeed coming now via the CAN bus. So to show you again, there is no connection here. All these wires are loose except for the power and for the CAN bus. So this serial data must indeed come through the CAN bus. Um, of course, our RC data is also still working. We can now also connect through the transmitter. So here I connected now through COM5 which is the USB port um, of the flight controller. We also can use here this connection, so the serial output on the transmitter module, which goes here to this USB adapter, which is on COM23. So we can disconnect this here, select port uh, COM23. And now with the setting to COM23, everything should work. Uh, as it's expected to work. So let's see. We connect to Mission Planner. We get here the parameter upload. We are MUF FTP as uh, expected. And it has the expected speed. So we are in the 31 Hertz mode. And now we are connected. And again, it's COM23. So that's the USB TTL adapter. And then I'm moving my sticks. And of course, we also have this sort of data. And let's see if we can also see that we have... Uh, no, that's not uh, visible here. Anyway, so you can see when I go back again uh, to... Uh, when, I, when I move now the flight controller, right? When you see the hood moving here in Mission Planner, and you also see it moving here. And when I'm disconnecting this port here, then of course Mission Planner will disconnect, there will be no motion anymore, but this here still will work. So this just should show you that there's indeed everything going through uh, the CAN bus. Now a last thing we could do is to just have an idea is that we go, go here into the drone CAN GUI. We can choose here the SLE CAN adapter and then uh, start OK. When we see that we have our two nodes, there's our flight controller and then our MLS receiver, we don't see mission planner anymore because it's not connected, right? And if we would go uh, here, um, then you would see lots of uh, messages. And in particular, you would see this uh, UVCAN tunnel targeted message, messages which carry the seal data, the RC input data which carries the RC data. Here it's now again the CL data and so on, right? And uh, if we, it's a lot of data, right? And if we go here, for example, you can see that where all the fields are filled and so on and so forth. Okay, this is everything what I wanted to show you for today. Have fun!